Hi folks, um, just thought I'd give you a, a video on my dishwasher. Um, I've only got a small galley kitchen um, with no room for a full size dishwasher. It was either a tumble dryer or a dishwasher and luckily I'm able to have both with this wonderful contraption. It's a tabletop dishwasher or countertop dishwasher. Um, it was about, I think, £120 from Comet. Uh, it's by our own make, Proline. Um, I think it's it's also known as Edge Star. I've seen online um, in some other countries. Uh, it looks a little different. Um, controls are a little bit different, but uh, it's basically the same machine. Uh, it's very quiet. It's quite fast. Uh, it's A-rated, so energy efficient and also uses a lot less water than normal hand washing the dishes and we've got a water meter so we pay for all the water we use so it's quite important to be careful of how much we we use on a daily basis um, also a handy area for storing things on top um, so the controls very simple actually uh, I've got an on off button the selector for the different programs um, little lights illuminate there to say which one's running you've got the start and pause buttons and you can also set time delay which is quite handy especially if you were say on economy 7 um, electricity where it's cheaper at night uh, shows you the time delay functions just there and you've got two illuminated lights well they'll illuminate when the salt and rinse aid is too low so show you the inside I think it's eight place settings so it's not a full-size dishwasher obviously so don't be thinking you're gonna get the same amount of stuff in here that you would in a, a full-size one because you're not so you might need to do say two loads um, but it's alright if you're not if you're not a huge family if there's only a couple of you or on your own or in my situation where it was this or nothing um, it's a great piece of kit. Um, I know that in the manufacturer's instructions it has specific kind of diagrams of how to stack, which is just not realistic. I mean, who's going to refer to a diagram every time they put the dishwasher on? Um, so we kind of play it by ear. Um, sometimes you'll find things get blocked and don't wash great, um, but that's more trial and error than anything else. Um, i found that as long as the water can get to the various dishes properly it doesn't matter if things cover things up it's it's no biggie it still washes great so just here is where you put the detergent it's already set to go so you put your powder or your tablet just in there and then here is where you'd fill the rinse aid or cap comes off there we go. Uh, I don't know if you can see but just in there is a cap for the salt and that's your rotor arm just there that goes around so you have to be careful not to have anything poking down to block it um, I've got this set to fill from my hot feed um, which is redundant because my washing machine is cold feed only so it fills from the combi boiler so it doesn't have to use as much energy to heat the water up because gas is cheaper than electric anyway um, but it does obviously still have to heat it a little bit because I think it's quite hot enough when it goes into the, the machine um, so if I switch it on you can see how it's actually quite quiet and um, can quite happily hold a conversation in the same room and what's even better is the fact that we hardly ever have to wash anything by hand. It saved me literally hours of washing up. Um, and I would thoroughly recommend this this machine to anybody for, for £120. It's worth every penny. You can get more expensive ones. I think there was a Bosch one um, that was next to it, which was literally double the price. And it's, <laughs> I think, the same machine, but with a different control panel. And I think it had a catch under here for where you open it rather than just pulling it. But other than that, it really didn't look too much different, other than the fact that it's going to cost you double the amount. Um, so to switch it on, 
select your program you can see we've got eco I think that's glasses only and I think that's like a quick rinse and that one there is the intensive uh, I tend to use either eco or intensive um, at the moment I think we're going to get away with eco on this one so all we do is press start just pumping out boiler kicks in there we go that's as loud as it gets be about about an hour hour and 15 minutes that should be done uh, there's no drying program on the eco program so I just leave the door ajar for 10 minutes or so afterwards and some dishes just need a bit of a wipe with a tea towel but that's no big deal on the intensive setting that takes longer that's about two hours or so uh, but that does have a drying function so they're pretty much bone dry when they come out um, I hope this has been informative. Anyone who's thinking maybe of getting one of these machines, someone that wants a dishwasher but hasn't got room for a full size one, um, it's just one point to say that this can be plumbed into a tap as well. There's an option to do that um, for filling with, I think. Um, I'm not 100% sure actually. I think actually it definitely drains into the sink. Uh, there's an option to just drain it into the sink, but this is plumbed in. Um, into a pipe that the washing machine goes into so I've got like a T a T function on it um, but for how much it would cost to, to plumb it in it's still worth doing you may be talking about an extra 20-30 pounds if you've already got a, a washing machine plumbing point um, right well I'm going to sign off now but uh, that's my Proline tabletop dishwasher